Today is Women's Day. The women were in charge and they're going to help with this old familiar song. It's just good to know that God made woman for man. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. He is his help meet. Yes. And it's just good tonight that they're going to sing in the background. Yes. And I just want to say, I didn't mention this, Sister Amen. President Joe. Y'all look so pretty in your white. Yeah, you stand out. That's, look so pretty. To God be the glory. Yeah. And sister, clap your hands to the glory of God. Lord, it's time I to go to the altar and pray. San Francisco, Oakland, our young people, Lord, uh, turn them around before it's everlasting too late. 
We call on you tonight because we don't know any other God to call on but you and you alone. You brought us from a mighty long way where we didn't have a place to worship. You open up doors for us at the buttercup and Monterey Pie. And then you blessed us with uh, this edifice here. We want to thank you, Lord, for what you're doing and what you've done for us. You're so good and you're so kind. Now, look upon the bereaved hearts tonight. Mother Morris and the Payton family. Pastor Payton and, and the Winnette and all the family members. Have mercy tonight in the name of Jesus. You can give them strength during this time of sorrow. Now, Lord, look upon others who've lost loved ones. Have mercy. Oh, Lord. Please, sir, have mercy. When this life journey comes to an end, we, too, like others, must quit this walk of life. Pray that you will receive our soul just any place in your kingdom where every day will be Sunday, Sabbath will have no end. Oh, by and by, when the morning comes, oh, oh, oh.
The survival of the Jews in the Persian Empire was threatened 
by the rise of Haman, yeah. an Amalekite, who had inherited a burning hatred uh, for Israel from his ancestry. Some people are born with hatred of another race. And this was the case of this Amalekite against the Israelites. Haman. We got Hamans in the government. We got Hamans at home. We got Hamans in the school. We got Hamans walking the street. People just walk in and just kill other people. Because they hate them because of of their race and nationality. This is the case where this Haman hated Israelites. They hated the Jews. Having become a consular in the, what is that, Mafia word, consular? He became a uh, an advisor, I'll put it that way, <laughs> of the state to Ahasuerus, King Ahasuerus. He prevailed upon the king to issue, listen, a proclamation ordering the execution of all Jews throughout the empire and the confiscation of their property. It's not like right like now, no. The church, I want to say, is on trial. Because there are a lot of Hamans hate the church and want to get rid of the church. Want to destroy the church. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. But let me assure you one thing. He says, upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. This command that he asked the king for was met with profound mourning and prolonged fasting on the part of the Jewish community. Sometime prior to this, Esther, a Jewish maiden, had become queen. Although her nationality was unknown, she was indebted to her cousin Mordecai, who was a leader of his people, the Jews, for her upbringing and her position as queen. Sometimes people forget who helped them along. Amen. For it was Mordecai who coached her in the proper steps to take when King Ahasuerus was conducting a search throughout the kingdom for an, an eligible and attractive candidate for queen. Not only did he raise her, but he told her what to do and how to do it. Right. And she became queen. Yeah. Right. You got some people just uh, do you wrong. Yeah. Right. When you help them along. Right. Because she obeyed. Listen. Yeah. Her cousin Mordecai's instructions. Yeah. Esther was eventually uh, made queen. Yeah. Now when the news came that a date had been set for the extermination of all Jews. Yeah. Mordecai mourned at the king's gate yes. when Esther was informed by her servants of her cousin uh, grief. She uh, sent a message yes. to find the reason for his great sorrow. Yes. It was then that Mordecai revealed the plot to kill all the Jews yeah. oh. by 
Haman and sent to the queen and sent the queen a copy of his proclamation. Mordecai, uh, he dispatched a request that Esther go to the king and intercede for her people. Then Queen Esther was likely and immediately disposed to obey Mordecai's request. But there was one barrier standing in her way. All Persian rulers assumed the highest degree of majesty, even to taking divine honors for themselves. No man, nor woman, even if she was queen, dare to appear uninvited before the king without endangering his or her life. Furthermore, into the inner uh, chamber of the harem, no person ever entered but the chosen one who was called. Do you understand? If she would have gone in there without his invitation, she, the queen, would have been invited. Thus, protested to Mordecai. She told Mordecai uh, the fact that any individual appearing before the king without being called was transgressing a law which uh, dictated death for the violator. Nevertheless, Mordecai remained unremoved by Esther's logic and helped Esther to understand that although living in the king's house, she would no more escape than the rest of her people. Indeed, the faith of this uh, ex uh, extraordinary man is shown in his argument to the queen that deliverance for his people would come. He had faith uh, that deliverance somehow, somehow would come by one way or another. And he thought that Esther would be the most likely uh, way that it would come. And let me just pause here and say, nowhere in the book of Esther is the Lord God mentioned. But you can feel and see him everywhere. Sometimes as we pray, we want to feel and see where God is moving. All you need to do is have faith that he's moving. He don't move. Furthermore, he reasoned that if Esther did not use uh, her influence, which her God-given position gave her, she would be blamed worthy and not escape. But to the saints, to the believer in divine providence, to the Christian church, uh, let me just say that even though in our present time we're being persecuted and ostracized, God got deliverance for the church. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be in England, in Africa, Asia. God got deliverance for you. Amen. He's a universal God. And is actively and continually ruling the world. Mordecai's most compelling and clinching argument is seen in his last word. Who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this? And I just want to uh, talk to the women now uh, as I come to the close of this message. You know the story and how 
Esther, Queen Esther, mm -hmm. sent back to Mordecai. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she is going against all odds. Yeah, yeah. She is going to put her life yeah. on the line. Yeah. Yeah. If I perish, she says, I perish. Yeah. But she's going to put her life yeah. on the line. Yeah. And since this is Women's Day, yeah. I'm going to say to all the women yeah. is that who for such a time as this, yeah. we need your prayer. Yeah. Tell all those to go in fasting and pray. Yeah. And I'm going to have my maidens to fast and pray. Right. And on the third day, I'm going in right. uh, for such a time right. as this. Yeah. I'm going to say the world need your prayer yeah. and your fasting for such a time as this. Right. The world and America is in turmoil. Our boys and girls need your prayer. Yeah. It's such a time right. as this. Right. Men and women everywhere, even in prison, yeah. need your prayer. Yeah. It's such a time as this. Right. Don't let God down for such a time as this. When you don't think about somebody else, your prayers are needed. Your fasting and praying is needed for such a time as this. And Jesus has promised you, just call him, yeah. and he will answer. Do you believe it? Yeah. But then stand on your feet and give God a standing ovation for such a time as this. I Bye. 